everybody, it's Amy Four, and you're back with today's positive message of the day. Today we're going to talk about a really cool topic. We're going to talk about the third emotional center of the body, your third chakra, which is your digestive system, your digestive organs. It's right in the middle of your body. It's kind of like your stomach area where your adrenal glands are, which are your stress glands above your kidneys, your pancreas, um, that whole midline of your body that... The, the favorite stomach area that people have. Um, energetically, uh, this is your stress area of your body, and it's not a coincidence. It's a usually an area where people tend to put on weight and have a hard time getting it off. So there's huge emotional connections to this area of the body. And I'm going to refer to a book um, that's really cool on um, body energetic issues, and it's called All is Well. Heal Your Body with Medicine, Affirmations, and Intuition. It's by Louise Hay and Mona Lisa Schultz, who's an MD and a PhD, super famous, um, super successful on um, energetic and body issues. So here's what they have to say about weight and body image in particular. People with weight and body image problems are givers and doers and often excessively generous. On the face of it, these are all good qualities. However, as with those who suffer from other third emotional center health problems, people with health issues related to weight are usually governed by fear and low self-esteem. They expand all their energy, excuse me, they expend all their energy on others and have little left over for themselves. Who they are is defined by how much they do for others. Weight gain and weight loss can be signs of an underlying health problems such as a thyroid or hormonal imbalance, but they also can cause the health problem. They can cause heart disease as well. So first address the physical problems that are triggered by being overweight or underweight or by certain body image disorders such as anorexia or bulimia. Once you have a handle on those more serious diseases and issues, it's time to face the emotional issues that are contributing to your weight issues. Once again, it's all about balance. I'm not suggesting that you stop doing good deeds and helping others or become self-centered. The point is to examine why you're running yourself ragged, helping others while your own needs are remaining unmet. Hello, how many of us know people like that? So why you're doing it, why you have to be so busy and always feeling like you have to help others and everybody knows how great you are helping others and running around helping others. And meanwhile, you're not taking care of your own needs. So the martyr syndrome, right? So examining the why behind that. Usually it's a need for feeling worthy. And um, but that's another topic. Once you have done this, you can begin to alter the negative thoughts and behaviors that are adding to your health problems by listening to what your body is telling you and incorporating, incorporating affirmations into your life. Louise Hay's affirmation theory demonstrates how weight is a reflection of our self-image. So, for example, being overweight or having an excessive appetite is a result of low self-esteem and avoiding your feelings. According to Louise, fat in general is a protective shell created by people who are overly sensitive and feel they need that protection. To begin to remove the shell and promote weight loss, the affirmation would be, quote, I am at peace with my own feelings. I am safe where I am. I create my own security. I love and approve of myself, unquote. So, pretty cool stuff, huh? That is what Louise Hay and Mona Lisa Schultz, Dr. Mona Lisa Schultz, have to say about weight issues energetically, especially in the stomach area of the body and um, balancing that need of giving and doing and why we're running around for everybody else with, unfortunately, often at the expense of our own needs. So I hope that helps you. Let me know what you think. And um, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.